Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And while that other video is loading, I thought I would do one more if these colors don't matter. I mean, we've worked on this a couple of days and uh, trying to, if you haven't watched them all, you're going to be confused. But I started thinking, you know, if you just wanted a model camouflage type look, you could always just bring this. It's been, oh, I haven't traced it yet. Let's go to. Uh, outline trace clip art and trace this guy trace is really good because it's a big file and the you can see the vector lines were here you can't so now we can put this and it's all grouped together select it all and go to intersect and look at that if the colors don't matter now if the you know the colors matter I'm totally off base here, but um, we could actually make that thing a little bit bigger holding down the shift key and just grow it. And then you could make these colors that same color as the original using the color eyedropper tool. And let's get that green and put it on that one. Let's go back to the pick tool and let's get uh, this color and put it in that one. So you kind of see what I'm getting at. Um, if he just wants a camouflage looking look, I think this would work perfectly for him. And you know, a lot of times I use, I've been using the collar rod dropper tool. Sometimes the smart fill tool is a little easier because you have crosshairs. So if we want that green right there on that one, you see the crosshairs and it's going to do it. Of course, that's almost a perfect shape. <clears throat> but that's how I would do it. If if I'm understanding and or not understanding, and he has to have those exact colors. And you could always lighten them up. And, you know, even now you could you know, swap them out with the color eyedropper tool and get that one and put it in that one. You know, put it in that one. Anyway. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.